What's up everybody, this is Mastery and Gamer, and we just got a sneak peek at what may end up being a number of upcoming new skins for Overwatch 2, courtesy of yet another survey leak. Now, for those of you who may recall, back in December, Blizzard put out a survey showing off a number of skin concepts, presumably to gauge interest on what sort of things players would be excited to see as actual cosmetics in-game. I did a video showing off all the skins that were showcased back at that time. However, Blizzard is at it again. Yes, today Blizzard has released a new survey, evidently, showing off even more official skin concepts, which also may one day end up coming to Overwatch itself. Now, these images were shared courtesy of Realize Ren on Twitter, who is one of the people fortunate enough to receive the survey and get to look at the skins and provide feedback. And in this video here today, I'll be running through all the images they shared, showing off the different skins, the different themes, and talking a little bit about, well, what exactly may be in store. So hopping right on into it, first up, let's start with a rather fun image here of Sigma and Reinhardt, both as chefs? Sigma very clearly has a pizza chef aesthetic going for him with the literal pizza pies on his shoulders and the little onion and tomato he's juggling for his hyperspheres. Whereas Reinhardt looks to be more of a baker with the sort of cake aesthetic going for him and the big oven mitts. And both of them are very, very fun skins. I could easily see these skins releasing as like a bundle in the shop that comes with both of them and do seem like sort of fun, kind of bizarre ideas that honestly I could realistically see Blizzard doing. But moving on, we have five skins which appear to all fit into a sort of French Victorian type aesthetic, being skins for Ilari, Lifeweaver, Genji, Sombra, and Hanzo. Particularly the skins for Genji and Hanzo in this set give me an almost sort of like military general sort of vibe, but definitely there seems to be an overall Victorian era aesthetic, especially when it comes to the hairstyles for Ilari and Sombra. And next up we have four sleepwear or pajama themed skins for Kiriko, Diva, Hanzo, and Widowmaker. Yes, these seem to be colorful, goofy, basically what you'd expect if you just took a hero and said, what does their sleepwear look like? Kiriko has a fox-themed pajama outfit. Diva's is a bit unicorny almost with the mech, it seems, although her specific outfit definitely has a bunny aesthetic. Hanzo's is kind of goofy seeing him like that, although I do like the little dream catcher that's hanging from his waist. That's a nice little detail. And then Widowmaker's is just Night Road Widowmaker, I suppose. And after this, we have a trio of racing themed skins for Ilari, Sigma, and Ash. Sigma's, I think, actually looks pretty cool with that motorsports helmet on and all the sort of tech components going on with the, what is that, a speedometer on his chest right there. Although I do quite like the idea going on with the Ash skin on the right, with Bob being a mechanic or part of the pit crew. And again, more overall fun skin concepts, it seems. Next, we have four 20s Art Deco styled skins. I think that's the overall aesthetic that we're seeing here, which are for Kiriko, Mercy, Widowmaker, and Lifeweaver. Kiriko's definitely gives me a 20s flapper sort of vibe going for it. It's uh, an interesting look for her, to say the least, with Mercy and Widowmaker definitely having very formal type aesthetics. And then Lifeweaver there on the right, looking about as dapper as I think I've ever seen him. My God, he can certainly pull off a suit and I kind of hope we get a skin like this for him at some point because I think it looks pretty nice. Just this past winter, we got a number of formal wear skins for different heroes, so I would love to see Blizzard expand on that sort of theming again with new heroes going forward. And honestly, I think Lifeweaver is a perfect candidate for that sort of thing. Next is another rather strange collection of skins for Brigitte, Reaper, Ash, Reinhardt, and Cassidy, which appear to be a sort of post-apocalyptic zombie street punk type aesthetic, I guess? It's like you took Junkers, smashed them with zombies and graffiti artist type aesthetics, making for a really interesting collection of skins here. Honestly, just looking at Brigitte specifically on the left, I really like the detail they added with the mace and shield there. That almost looks like they could be components of just a straight up Junker skin, disregarding the zombie theme. But then the three in the middle definitely seem to have a bit of an undead look going for them. I love the little pizza box armor Reinhardt's wearing, along with the horned hat, giving him almost Viking 
type look. Man, these are some goofy skins. I quite like them, though. I almost wonder if this could be part of a like future Halloween style battle pass where instead of going like gothic horror or eldritch horror, they just go like zombie horror movie. I don't know, something along those sort of lines where we'd end up getting skins like this. Next up, we get a pair of very cute looking skins, which appear to be rain wear for May and Kiriko. Both of them are wearing colorful raincoats. May very clearly has a frog aesthetic going for her, which honestly suits her pretty well. The whole frog look. I I never would have expected it, but yeah, looks nice. Kiriko on the right. I really like how the kunai strapped to her thigh are basically little umbrellas from the looks of it. So what is she going to throw out tiny little umbrellas as her weapon? It's a little goofy, I guess, but hey, fits the rain wear theme and even has a little fox teru teru bozu hanging in her hair, which is a fun detail indeed. Next up, a set of forest spirit or druid type skins for Alari, Lifeweaver, Sigma, Brigitte, and Echo. These all are very reminiscent of Arisa's forest spirit skin, which she's had for a number of years at this point, and tie into the whole nature foresty spirit type aesthetic, I guess you could say. Sigma's, again, I think is the really interesting one here. That mask just looks so creepy, but also really fitting for Sigma in a lot of ways. I could definitely see Blizzard going for a set of skins that are similar to this, playing into that whole mysterious forest vibe that a lot of people are into. And next we get four dark noir-esque skins for Soldier 76, Reaper, Anna, and Sojourn. Yeah, these are, um... These are very dark looking skins. Not a personal favorite aesthetic of mine, but definitely a clear idea for what Blizzard is going for here. And honestly, Reaper in a trench coat like that does look pretty badass, I'll give it that. I can't help but think these sort of skins though wouldn't maybe look as good in game, given that they wouldn't quite have the same noir setting and art style that you can have in a concept piece like this. But still, cool ideas, and I'd be interested in seeing if Blizzard ends up bringing them into the game itself. Then we get three demonic themed skins for Ash, Cassidy, and Diva. These are in a lot of ways kind of reminiscent to skins that some of them already have, particularly Ash's and Cassidy's, given that they already have Warlock and Demon Hunter skins respectively. These don't feel like the most original concepts we've seen from Blizzard, although the D.Va bone mech on the right is certainly an interesting one and would be rather unique. I don't know. Interesting ideas, maybe not the most exciting of the lot, but definitely ones that are worth pointing out, because especially with the D.Va one, maybe we could see something like that. And the last concept skin that was shown off in this survey is a formal wear life weaver skin. This one it doesn't seem to be part of any sort of set or collection. It's just on its own and has an almost butler-esque sort of formal wear vibe going. I'm not sure if there's anything too specific in mind with it. I think the different colored macaroons on his petals in the back does seem to lend the idea of him being some sort of butler or waiter of some sort. But overall, again, just another formal life weaver skin. His character design obviously lends itself very well to formal aesthetics. And so I think it'd be cool if we saw him get more skins that sort of fit into this. And that does it for all the skins that were shown off in this latest Overwatch 2 skin survey. Again, as a reminder, this is just a skin concept survey Blizzard has put out, and thus there is no guarantee that any of these skins ever end up making it into the game itself. They're mainly just gauging interest from people through the survey and through people sharing the leaked images online, which is of course what always happens. But I will say a number of them are really, really interesting looking in their own ways, and I certainly wouldn't mind having quite a few of them in the actual game, but I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. And on that note, definitely let me know your thoughts on all these skin concepts by dropping a comment down below. Are there any which really stuck out to you personally and is one that you would like to have for your favorite hero? Or maybe you hate all of them and hope that Blizzard ends up adding something completely different in the months and years going forward. Either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts, and as always, be sure to subscribe, hit up that bell icon, follow me on X, and join my Discord server to hang out, and never miss any of my future Overwatch 2 news, streams, and other content. Special thanks to my YouTube channel members who help make these videos possible. If you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards, then just hit that join button down below. Otherwise, this is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.